How is everyone doing today? In this video, we are going to be going over something very essential in Ruby on Rails, and that is associations, model associations. So whether your objects can have references to many other objects or just one object. For instance, let's say you have an account, which we're gonna call user. Does that user possibly have many characters they can play in a game? Or do they have many tweets they can use if, they're, if you're making a social network? Okay, so what I did here is I simply made a simple Rails project called Active Record Associations. I'm gonna CD into that. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to make a simple model and I'm gonna make a model called Rails G model and we'll just, let's call it user for now. I'm gonna give it a name, I'm gonna give it an age, I will make that age an integer and we'll give it a bio, which is text. We won't actually use any of these categories, but I just wanna explore out options. Text you would use if you needed more space than a standard string, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm also gonna make a tweet model and a user is gonna have many tweets. So I'm gonna do Rails G model and we're gonna make a tweet and the tweet is going to have a name and some content and we're gonna make that text. So we're gonna do that too. And we're gonna make the migration files for both of those, okay? So now I'm gonna vim into both of those files and I have not run migrate yet and the reason is because we are going to set up, I'm gonna set up a belong, I'm gonna set up a has many relationship between user and tweet. The has many relationship is the most common relationship in Active Record and Ruby on Rails, in my opinion. So the way we can do this is so, we see we have a category for name text. Well, we also need a category so tweet knows about user. So tweets need a column that references the users. And the way we can do this is we're gonna, is every object is gonna have an ID. So every tweet has an ID, starting from one going up, depending on the order you create them, and every user has an ID, starting from one and going up. So we're going to, I'm simply going to make a column called belongs to user. So the way we're telling our tables, we're saying, hey, you are gonna have a table called tweets and that table is going to have a column for a name some content and it's going to have a user id column so that you know this tweet this particular one tweet now belongs to a user and so also we're going to say the index option for true now an index allows us to basically sort through objects faster so it allows us to find tweets easier and i'll do another video where i actually prove that but you don't need this option if you don't want so i set the index to true and i set a t dot belongs to method i'm going to t dot belongs to method now we're going to run rake db migrate with that belongs to and hopefully we don't get anything else now when we run db migrate our db slash schema file gets updated. And if we take a look at it, it used to be blank before I ran this. We now see we have a create table called tweets. It's always the plural version of your model, so tweets and users. And we can see here we have everything we said. We said we have name, content. But when I did that user ID column, when I said t dot belongs to user, this is what it created. It created this column called t dot integer user ID. So it's referencing the ID of the user. And this index got created that says tweets. Um, it said add index tweets that references the user ID. So now every user, every tweet can reference the user ID. Well, not exactly yet. We're not fully done yet. We also need to make this code accessible to act. We've made space in our database for it, but we haven't taught Ruby about this relationship or taught Ruby on Rails about this relationship. And the way you can do that is we can access our model file and we can access our model file user first. And we need to say that our user has many tweets so that, 
hey, users have many tweets in a user file. And we also need to go to our tweet model file and say that it belongs to user. So notice how I use tweets here because we can have has many tweets. If we did a has one relationship, which we'll cover in another video, we would just use has one tweet singular. But we have many tweets, so it makes sense. Always think of it in that case. Just it should make sense. You can't has many tweet. That would not make sense. And so we also belong to a user. So seems pretty good. Another thing we can do is we can also make it that every time we destroy a user, that all its tweets get deleted that are associate, associated with it. So with the has many, I can do an option that is dependent destroy. And what this does is it makes sure that anytime a user is destroyed, all its tweets are destroyed as well. Okay, pretty, pretty easy. Boom, we're done with our coding for today. So now I'm going to go into my Rails console, which I can do with Rails C, or I can type it out myself. And we have this up. So now let's create a user. So we're going to do user1 equals user.create. And let's see. I didn't make anything for this user, so I'm just going to do user.create. And let's do user1.tweet. Tweets. So now if we want to access all of our tweets, we have none. So what we can do is we can do user.tweets. We can now create a tweet, so we'll do that. Tweet one equals tweet dot create, and makes we'll do some content. Uh, hi there, and we'll make one. And so now we have a tweet. And so now we'll do user one dot update tweets, and we'll give it a tweet tweet one, and we will update it. Okay, so now we say we I updated the database by saying user one dot update tweets and we gave it an array of one tweet. So now if I do user one dot tweets, hopefully we now have we get an array, we get an active record array back which has our one tweet in it. So let me do user one dot tweets dot count and we now have user one now has one tweet. Okay, so now. Let's let's try it this way. Well, let's not do that yet. We don't want to add it. So we got an we got a database, we got our active record association back, which shows, okay, hey, we have tweets, they can be associated with one another, and everything like that. And so now let's look at our tweets here by looking at user one dot first. We can see here that our tweet ID is one, its name is nil, its content is high there, but it has a user ID of one. And if I look at user user1.id, it, its ID is one, because I've only created one tweet and one user. So this tweet has the user ID one. And so now if I create another tweet, tweet.create, and let's give it a name, and I'll give it a name, second tweet. And that's all I'll do, that is all I will do. Something I could do is I could set the user to be user one. So now, oh, I got an error. And that's because it did not expect that input. And that is because I have, I had two ending braces right there. So now I've created my second tweet, but I said the user was user one. So now if I do user one dot tweets dot count, I now get two. I now have two tweets because I created my second tweet and I associated with my user one object. So it so what happened is when I set it to user, it when I set user colon user one, it went in got the user one ID, which is it got the user one ID and then set that object. So now I can look at it and it says select count from tweets where user ID equals one. So now we can see here the tweet ID is two, it's the second tweet I created, but the user ID is still one. So I have two tweets, but they're both referencing user one. So then when I do count, I get two. So user one has two tweets. It could have a thousand tweets. You could have 
two users and each of them could have different tweets. Now, a tweet can only belong to one user in our case. Remember, a user can have many tweets, but a tweet can only have one user. Now, there is a way to have, for instance, a tweet could belong to multiple users, but that would not, but that, this problem does not, this solution does not solve that problem. In this case, we're assuming that, hey, your user has his tweets and every user has their own tweets and they can't intermingle with each other. There are cases where you would want that to happen. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, trying to make them simpler. Let me know if you like it. Please give a like. Please subscribe if you want. And let me know what I can do better. I'll see you guys later.